thing of the week, thing of the week, it's your ink thing of the week, yeah. Hello there. So, you know, in a number of my videos when I'm working with books, devices, you know, all might have some ghosting on the screen and I'll just quickly swipe up and refresh the screen. And I've had a number of people basically say, wait, how did you do that? So this video is just a quick demonstration of the different swipe gestures that are available for books devices. How do you get to them? What's uh, the list is and how do they work? So basically we're going to do this uh, twice. We're going to do this first for this UI and I don't have a particular name for it. So we'll just call this the classic books UI. And then we'll look at the user interface related to the tab series of devices which is a little bit different. Now the gestures themselves are all um, identical. The options are identical, how the gestures work are identical, but how you get to those gesture settings is different between the two UIs. So that's why we'll, sh we'll show both examples. Let's start now with this device, again with the classic design, and this particular device is the Books Note Air 3C. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the settings option, like so. And then, simply enough, we're going to go to this option called Gestures. Okay, now there's two types, of, two screens of gestures. There's the ones where you're swiping in from the bottom, and those are listed here. And there's ones where you're swiping either in from the side or you're going up or down. So there's the uh, up and down is here, and then the swiping in is here. Let's go back to the bottom before we go into the details. So here you can see uh, if you're swiping from the left side of the screen, bottom left, bottom center, and bottom right. The options on each one are identical to each other. So if you click on uh, either of these arrows, you come up with this list. This is page one of the list. So I have mine currently set on full refresh. And here's some additional options as well. So a lot of customization potential. Uh, I'll just note that you can also select none. So even though you activate swiping from the bottom, you can actually turn off, say, swiping from the sides and only swipe from the center, for example, by selecting none on the left and the right, or whatever combination you want. I have it where I'm doing a full refresh here on the right. I'm doing uh, back home to the home screen in the center, and then my multitasking uh, menu is on the left. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that in action when we're done here. But let's move over to the side gestures. Now the options available um, going either in from the left or right are exactly the same as what we saw from swiping from the bottom. So any gesture that swipes from the outside of the device into the device, either this way or this way, has the same list of possibilities. And there's also the option, of course, to turn them on or off accordingly. Now, these gestures that kind of go up and down are have a different list, and it's a much smaller list as indicated there. And likewise, you can either turn them on or turn them off individually or in aggregate like so. So let's go ahead and see how these uh, work. So I'm gonna redo this one from the bottom to refresh the screen like so. If I wanted to go back home, do it like so. I want to go into my app drawer or my rather the um, multitasking drawer. If I had any open apps, they would be listed here, but I don't. So it's blank. There we go. Okay. If I same thing, if I swipe into the side that also goes to my multitasking drawer. And I can't remember how I set this. What did I set that as? Let's take a look. Back to gestures, side. Oh, back, that's right. So I, there was nothing to do there. Okay. Finally, let's take a look at the side scroll bars. So the side scroll bars do not go the entire length of the side. They start about here and they go to about here. If you put your finger anywhere in here, you can start swiping, you can see it. There's where it starts, whoops. And there's where it ends. And if I scroll up, I have it on brightness. And if I scroll down, the brightness goes away. And on this side, let's 
same same mechanics okay all right so that is for again the more classic ui let's take a look at where we go when you're working with a tab device I'll bring in this is the uh, books tab ultra c so i'm going to go ahead and power that on and again, the gestures are the same, so I'm just gonna show you where to find them. So we're gonna click on the settings button, which we have right here. And then we'll scroll down on the side menu on the left until we get to system navigation. And then here's where we see the options. It's laid out a little bit different visually, but they're all the same. So this is the swipe from the bottom settings. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And then instead of having the three listed in front of you, you actually have them uh, you have to use these arrows to get to each one but again the lists are identical oh in this case it's all in one one screen there's no second screen of items and then if we go to the side gestures again you have left and right going through these arrows you can turn them on or off with these toggles here and then the custom list is the same it's a more abbreviated list so that's basically a summary of the gestures that are available on the device. It's really powerful. Um, so you know, getting these set up just the way you want it can really enhance your experience working with books devices. So I hope this helped if you weren't already aware of how to do it. If you have any questions, as always, just let me know. Until then, I will see you next time.